Hey, good morning. There's some uh, beautiful petunias, some geraniums as we head our way into the month of May. Still a little bit early yet to be planting outdoors. Just to let you know, you could do some cool crops at this time of year for your vegetable garden. If you want to put in some uh, seeds of beets today or radishes, I would recommend that. Let's take a look. Uh, direct so right in the garden, by the way. Uh, let's take a look at the city of Toronto right now from high atop the uh, CN Tower as we move towards eyes east on an overcast day, a day that we do have a risk of showers that will continue. So here's a look at your future forecast and you'll see as we take a look at 930 this morning how it's very isolated the showers but we stay underneath cloud cover so not a washout by any means today. The wind's not that breezy today so not terrible. We still have a risk of isolated showers through the afternoon. As we move our way towards Wednesday, that's when we'll see greater cloud cover as well as we'll see more active weather. There's a look at Wednesday at 5 a.m. We see a line that pushes its way through right around 9 a.m. Then as we work our way through the afternoon, fairly dry, and it looks like we're going to get really soggy as we head our way into Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and that's when the winds will be the strongest as well. We could see uh, from Wednesday night into Thursday morning, 25 millimeters of total rainfall. So a lot of cloud cover over these next several days. Temperatures below seasonal. We should be closer to about 15 degrees for this day. Right now we have temperatures around 8 this morning at Pearson. Daytime high today is going to be 10. 10 as we head our way into Wednesday, Thursday at 13. Showers through Friday. Then finally Saturday, nice, partly cloudy skies at 17. Watching some showers now on Sunday, but mild at 18 degrees. And then Monday, a temperature right around 14. So once again for today, daytime highs of just 10. Let's look at your forecast. We'll send it back to Mel with a look at your news.